months as kids head back to the school uh, and to classrooms, getting back into the routine can be especially tough for families experiencing divorce. The things that parents can do to make that adjustment just a, a little bit easier. Well, as kids head back to school, getting back into the routine can be especially tough for families experiencing divorce. In fact, August is one of the top months for new divorce filings. But there are things parents can do to make that adjustment a little bit easier. I'm joined by family attorney Monica Garcia Harms to share how to navigate all of it. Good morning to you, Monica. Thank Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You know, we were talking recently, uh, my coworkers and I, kind of surprised that August is, is one of the top months where you're seeing divorce filings. Uh, before we get into the tips, do, why is that? Well, you know, a lot of it has to do with back to school. It actually has, um, you know, after a summer of a lot of time together, mm. a summer with kids out of school, finally a lot of parents have the opportunity to spend that time to maybe meet with lawyers, get their finances in check, and it's actually a really popular time when the kids are back in school and back to their structure and schedule for parents to decide uh, that maybe it's time for um, a different chapter in their lives. Okay, so I, obviously okay. starting school, whether you're going through a divorce or not, uh, can be stressful, anxiety-inducing for everyone involved. So how do you make Make it less so for those going through this um, this this period in their lives. Right. I mean, back to school is stressful for all families, whether you're going through a divorce or not. So those going through divorce and separation, it's it's really the stress of the logistics, a new schedule. Kids oftentimes have two new homes. Um, parents are having to sort of navigate different tasks that they normally would as a parent. Um, being able to have Number one, a really clear calendar and ability for not only kids to understand where they're going to be each night and where they're sleeping, but for parents to be able mm. to communicate and be able to um, share their information in a way that's going to not have a lot of conflict involved in it. Yeah, I mean, communication is, is always important, but especially in this case. Um, back to school shopping. I mean, there might be some folks who are still doing a little bit of that. When you're going through this period, how do you tackle that? Well, back to school shopping, all of these back to school expenses, they, they add up, whether it's backpacks, whether it's books, clothes, all of the things that kids need, growing kids in particular are always needing new things. And so parents need to figure out how to pay for those things when they're in two separate households. So there's always child support, but that really covers the basics. And so these things that are kind of above and beyond, whether they're extracurricular activities, sports equipment, um, all of those things, what can be done, we're hearing this a lot from our clients at Stein Sperling, is how do we address those? Mm. And the best way to do it is really to tackle those from the front end and contractually agree how those are going to be broken up, whether they're going to be broken up, you know, maybe one parent pays 60%, one parent pays 40, kind of in proportion to their incomes, or many parents have a joint credit card that they use exclusively for yeah. um, expenses associated with a child, and then they divide those up at some later time. Gotcha. This this last one is key. Um, for, for school events, you do not recommend, you know, divvying it up, one parent goes to, to each one. What do you say? Well, you know, having children is a lifetime of opportunities to spend time together, whether they're graduations in the future or weddings or all these important events. So back to school events, uh, parent teacher conferences, school events, those are all opportunities right away to spend time together so that you can be a united front for your children. And really, it's just learning how to transition from being spouses to being co-parents. And, and the key to all of that is communication. The, the earlier people can do that, the better. And so going to those back to school events together for a child is a really important way to, to pave that foundation. Yeah, it, it helps when both parents are on the same page when it comes to having the child's interest at heart and making sure in the end the child is okay. Uh, family attorney um, Monica Garcia Harms joining us this morning. Thank you so much for the tips. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.